Traditionally, open carpal tunnel release has been the way to treat carpal tunnel surgery. What that means is that before the advent of modern endoscopy and arthroscopy, surgeons would make generally a very large incision. It would start here and go all the way up the, the, the forearm. So a really large incision. Then we learned that we didn't have to make large incisions. So people, so surgeons made the incisions smaller and smaller and smaller. And now we do mini open incisions where surgeons make an incision here. Still, it's an open incision, but it's not as big. Um, with the advent of mo modern endoscopy, we now do it endoscopically, which means a little incision right here. So the difference between the open surgery that's done by a lot of non-hand surgeons now, orthopedic surgeons who also do carpal tunnel release versus hand specialty trained surgeons like myself who do primarily hands and shoulders and elbows is that the endoscopic release is associated with much less pain and a quicker return to function because you're making a much smaller incision in the skin. It's the same thing with shoulder surgery, for example, doing a traditional big open incision versus small little incisions for shoulder surgery, for example. So typically with endoscopic releases, I let patients return to work within a few days. Most patients only take Tylenol. And unless they're a heavy laborer and they're really overusing their hands, they don't even have much pain. Um, so again, the advantage of, so the difference between endoscopic versus open, now studies have shown that the outcomes are similar with endoscopic versus open at six to 12 months, but the, re the, but the return to work might be a little bit quicker with endoscopic surgery, and also the pain is gonna be much less. Uh, so that's what I do for uh, most of my patients now, endoscopic carpal tunnel release.